Hi guys, Garth here. Welcome back to another cosplay stream. This week we are going to be doing a request build, Strength's Tale, as requested by Eden Leslie. Thank you so much for your request and uh, it was actually a fun build, but we decided to do it in one day. Something that I like to call last minute builds, when you've spent all your time building your costume and you realize that the con is tomorrow and you haven't done your tail yet. So, come join me for a one day build. So there's the tail that we're going to do from the Blackrock Shooter OVA. The small, elegant, ladylike tail. So we're first going to build this uh, in the easiest way and cheapest way possible to make it look as good as possible. So what are we going to need to do that first off? Right. I'm using split sprig or cable wrap. Uh, this you should be able to get at any hardware store if you can't find that. Use some of this, it's the spiral cable cable wrap. We're also gonna need a wire coat hanger. This is EVA foam, thin stuff, it's very, very thin. It's about what? It's two mil. An assortment of knives, craft knives. Make sure they're sharp. Measuring utensils, something to measure with. A pair of scissors, paint brushes, Mod Podge. Okay, so now that I've measured what length I'm going to require on ME, we can cut this. Whee! And there we go. That is going to be our tail. Next thing to do is to sketch out our pattern. So what I've done is I've got a piece of paper which I've just folded in half. So when you cut this out, it'll pretty much be exactly both it would be a mirror image of either side That's right. right now you can cut that out using your obviously pair of scissors so I've cut two pieces of craft foam uh, both measuring 17 centimeters I'll put the inch conversion here somewhere right now we're going to divide that in half all the way down to the length which is eight and Half. Now that we've got that cut out, we can lay it down on our foam and mark it out. So, and what I do is I just hold it flat and create a boundary line. I just run it over the template flat because what it's going to do when you remove it, it leaves a nice contrast. Now, holding your two pieces of foam. first one, or should I say first set. Now we're going to do that down the whole length of this strip and hopefully have enough to fill up a full tail. Get back to you once that's done. Now that we have a stack of these things cut out, we can start thinking about assembling our tail. Right, uh, first things first, we're going to grab our coat hanger and straighten it out. Grab our uh, conduit. And we're just going to feed that down the length of it. That little piece sticking out there, and we just keep this piece hooked over there for now. Right. What this does is it now makes your tail poseable. So now we can actually start attaching these. So here's a, the first piece. Now, what I'm going to do is Grab my hot glue gun, run a bead of hot glue in there, and this is just to glue the two tips together, two ends. So you end up with something that goes like that. Now, it would be a good idea to get your heat gun out for the next step. Thank you. 
and not burn yourself in the end. Which I already have already done, so be careful. Now that we've got all 12 segments connected or glued on, I can start doing all this decoration down here and then we can start on the top. I grab my hot glue gun and for these I'm just going to run beads along the outer edge, both sides. And I'm going to give it another run to make it a little bit thicker. Okay, now once I've got that done, the next thing I'm going to be doing is just cutting a few, cutting a few strips from uh, off cut of craft foam. And then what I'm doing now is I am just going to be gluing these around the front of each vertebrae. That way we can give the piece a bit of depth. Just be careful, don't burn yourself. And then just snip off the excess with a pair of scissors. Okay, so now what's happening is I take, took a look at this thing and scale-wise these are too broad. So I'm just taking off all the tips all the way down to bring it back into scale. And we'll be doing the same down this side as well. And I'll give it a bit more freedom, freedom of movement. So let me carry on doing that. Now as soon as we got all that cut down I need to fix up the detailing so just running hot glue again just to make sure that everything syncs up and it looks good. Yeah, I said you got to do that to everything again. Okay so now that we have that cut down and looking a little better we can start on the tip. So what are we going to do? We're just going to grab this boy slip it in here and I'm just basically gonna freehand just remember good. now you're obviously gonna be making two of these maybe I should actually bring it down a little bit more grab a knife And uh, yeah, I know, I am doing this in a rush. And there we go. That should pretty much match, match up. And that's how it's going to go together. So first things first, we're going to glue these together. But what I want to do is I first want to run beads of hot glue down the center here. Okay, and we're going to do the same on that side and just let it cool down. Now that we've got this ray sections all up over here, we can glue this together. But something that I have done is I've cut sort of a flap section in there, you can see, and one on this side. That is so that we can get our wrap around the, the conduit over here. If this is going to go like that, let's glue this boy together. So let me just glue all this together and then we'll come back. Okay, now that we've got that done, uh, it's all glued together and I've also run glue on the inside and on the outside everywhere to sort of clean this thing up because, well, this is a last minute bowl. So, now what we need to do is we need to glue this bitch on the back here and turn off. Before we do that, the last thing you want is this piece of wire to poke holes in your craft foam. So we're just going to grab some electrical tape and give ourselves a bit of padding down the wire. It doesn't have to be too much, but yeah, about that is fine. 
we can glue this boy on. So, first things first, obviously we are going to be liberal with the hot glue and let it run down. And we are going to work it down onto the hot glue. Right, it's going to run a little bit, but don't worry too much about that. Then I'm going to fold this first segment in. Okay, that should hold. Right, now I've got another piece of flat over here. Just also have to set properly. Which I'm just going to put a rim around the outside here. Just to hide these pieces. So, over there. Now that we have that, we can glue this down now. And we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so now just a little bit of a detailing. Run around here. Right, now that we've got that, I'm just going to beat it with hot glue. Inside of it. Either side. And there you go. So, once that's dry, we can actually take this thing out to paint. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I made a bit of a, an error is I forgot to seal the foam with some Mod Podge. So, yeah. You can see that I've primed this, but uh, the Mod Podge will still help seal the foam because uh, foam tends to just suck up the, the spray paint. So I just came back to seal everything up with some Mod. Uh, once that's done, we can go outside and spray this whole thing the wonderful tone of black. And on that note, thank you so much for joining us for this build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave comments. Let us know what you think. Rate, yeah, thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. We like thumbs up. It makes me feel special. Also, subscribe button also needs to be tickled a bit. Uh, the more you guys leave comments, the more I know what you want also. And it helps me engage with you guys more as well. I do get back to your comments and try and answer everybody who leaves a question. So please, don't be shy. Catch you in the next video.